This is Twit. So, in a previous life, I thought that I was going to become a film director. <laughs> Uh, I really wanted to. I was way into film. I thought it was awesome. It was my life. And this app, I would have so cared about like 15 or 20 years ago. But thankfully, you know, 15 or 20 years ago, digital in, in the movie theaters wasn't really a thing as much, especially as much as it is now. When you go to a movie theater, pretty much everything that you see in theaters nowadays, it's all digital. But there are a lot of film enthusiasts who are very you know, heartfelt about the loss uh, or the the kind of rapid decline of movie theaters that actually show movies on film. 70, you know, all different types and formats of film. They used to, that used to be just how you saw film, uh, film and movie theaters. And it has a certain aesthetic quality to it. And now you, you know, you get a different thing. It's not better or worse. It's just different. Digital has its own advantages. Kodak has an, a, an app. I can't believe I'm bringing a Kodak app to the arena called <laughs> Kodak Real Film. And if you're a film buff, you can put into this app your location. So it, so it tracks your location and it will let you know, it will alert you when a new movie comes into theaters that's within a certain distance close to you that's actually playing on film somewhere versus playing in digital somewhere. So if this really... Uh, if this is really important to you, you're, you're, and I have some friends who like, this is the most important thing is to watch these movies in film instead of digital, then this would be an app for you. You can tap on playing on film and it's going to use my location to tell me what movies are playing near me in actual film. And what's depressing about it is that one comes up uh. for now playing because even in the Bay Area of all places where you imagine there's all sorts of film, of movie theaters everywhere, um, so I would I would have thought that I'd get more. It's pretty much the Castro Theater in San Francisco that plays stuff on film, and maybe there's other other theaters that aren't being tracked here. But coming up, Murder on the Orient Express uh, now playing at the Castro Theater, I believe, if I remember correctly, from looking at this earlier. Um, and you get you know you get this nice kind of uh, view. It's actually developed uh, really nicely. Uh, no screenings today. What about Monday? Let's see here. Yes, Castro Theater. There's all the screening times, and it's 37.7 miles away from where I am. I, I can say I can say it has nothing to do with the app, but as someone who lived within walking distance of the Castro Theater and and frequented it often while living in San Francisco, it is worth driving 37 miles to go to a movie at the Castro Theater because it's amazing. No doubt, so, without question. Yeah. That that theater, man, for film lovers, it's beautiful. Like they Beautiful. have the directors coming in there all the time to to uh, show their their films and then do a Q and A, and it's like another celebrity interviewing the director. It's like unbelievable. Um, but anyways, so I realize this is one of those apps that really appeals to a very small uh, small population. There probably aren't a huge amount of people who really care that much about watching film, watching movies on film. But I know that those who do, it's really important to them. And I just thought this was a really great way to do it. It, it really just kind of makes it seamless. And then it'll it'll notify you as new films are announced that are nearby. And in general, it just also gives you expanded information on films that are that are in the movie theaters. And you can read all about it and find you know where it's playing around you and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's called Kodak Real Film. Real as in a reel of film. R-E-E-L. And uh, yeah. Check it out. I thought it was good for the film buff.